What's going on, Instagram Open Writers here? <laughs> Come on over, sis. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yes, we started a live video. Oh, cool, can I see what it looks? Uh -huh. Just to Hold make on, sure. Hold on, let's see here. Where's it at? <laughs> all right. All right. Hope you guys are doing all right out there. Hold on one second. Um, hmm. I just saw it. Was it a notification? Yeah. Well, oh boy. I don't know. We're probably good. Okay. Long as, let's see, long as we can save it at the end, we'll be all right. I wonder what that is. Share a photo or video. Okay. Don't want to do that. All right, well, we're just going to jump in. Um, and, I mean, really, there was just one one thing that we were talking about that we felt like would be um, really cool to share with you guys. And it's about storing up your praise mm -hmm. for the, uh... <laughs> we're goofballs, you guys. Yeah. But we wanted to share with you, hello, um, about storing up your praise. And uh, honestly, so much has happened in the last six months. Uh, blessings upon blessings upon blessings, but also challenges upon challenges upon challenges that we were able to together get through yes. and um, with the most highest help. Uh, and so it's been an amazing kind of a roller coaster experience. Mm -hmm. But had we not had uh, praise stored up already in us. Uh, we, we were just talking about this earlier. That's why we're jumping on here live to share it with you. But um, had we not had some kind of a praise stored up in us when the, you know, the tribe, challenges. Yeah, the challenges come, mm -hmm. you are going to be on very thin ice if you don't have something already stored up. So we were talking about, like, well, you know, what were we really doing? to store up our praise mm -hmm. and basic things like reading, mm -hmm. spending time with the most high. Yeah. Uh, Even, you know, sometimes, honestly, <clears throat> you know, if you're in a hard place, you might just need to sit there and just be and just breathe and just say in your mind, you know, I'm not going to complain. I'm going through a lot. That alone, like you're still, you're still in his presence when you're doing stuff like that right. too so we had to do just a combination of different things to, um just to keep our joy and to yeah, absolutely keep our praise so when we when we're talking to you guys about this don't think that just praise is <clears throat> raising your hands even though that's a huge part but it could be being still and like you said sis being in the word or yeah. just taking time to clear your thoughts and get your mind and your heart just in a better place and on the right track with his help, you know, so. Yeah, it's, and the reason why we even wanted to share this is because when people get hit, you know, with different things, um, it could be health issues, uh, you know, or something that's trying to attack your body or uh, your family. Tragedies. Tragedies happen, and, mm -hmm. you know, and occur or whatnot. You, you know, if you don't have something stored up, it's just like, uh, it talks about this in scripture about building your house on a strong foundation. Mm -hmm. So that way when the storms and the wind and everything comes, you're on that solid, solid ground, right, mm -hmm. which is the most high. 
And you can get that foundation built multiple ways, like we were just explaining, like praying and praising. That's why we come together and we do music. It's not just music, it's an offering to the Most High. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why it's not like such a big deal if we're pitch perfect or right. if the, you know, if things are just squeaky clean. <laughs> it's not about that, it's about you know, praising is doing a couple of different things. It's helping mm -hmm. us store up for when those challenges come, mm -hmm. but it's also giving um, the Most High what He rightfully deserves exactly. as well, too. And you, you know, might be even in a place too where you don't feel like giving the Most High praise. I mean, but being sincere in your heart and asking for that will, like he'll even give that to you, mm -hmm. you know? Cause I mean, think about it. We've all been at, at low points. So right. we know that it's not always easy to praise. It is, you know, when things are rolling, right. you know, mm -hmm. and, and things are fine and maybe even in some tough times, but there are some things that happen in life that can like literally just try to shut you down so right. it's just about being honest about where you are too you know and the mm -hmm. most high he can come in and help you know in whatever ways possible so i just want to encourage anybody who is you know or has been at a low point that right. he can he can turn it around you know he can i mm -hmm. like what you said as well about um when things are rolling yeah you know, people tend to praise, we get like that. But that actually is a good thing because yeah. that is also storing up yeah. praise for when challenges come. Because as much as you wanna avoid things, stuff happens, we That's all so know true. that. Life happens, you know, and you have to be ready to dig deep. Um, it's not that the Most High has left you. It's mm -hmm. not that, you know, the Most High has forgotten about you, <laughs> everybody. It doesn't matter how you know how 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 you how you are who you are. Life happens to everybody, mm -hmm. but we want you to be encouraged because we're living this mm -hmm. right now. We're yeah. living um, how to navigate the highs and the lows, but keeping the praise steady. Right. You know, and that's a that's that's, that's something. It's like a muscle. Right. At the gym, it's something you have to work. Mm -hmm. And it gets stronger and it gets stronger and it gets stronger. And we continue, we, we will continue, yeah. you know, to get stronger as different challenges, you know, we, mm -hmm. we face. But um, I think the, the reason why we wanted to minister this to you guys is not because we're just, we're living it. Mm -hmm. But we also know that um, many people that I personally know um, have abandoned their faith, if you mm -hmm. will. You know what I mean? They're not even really uh, checking for the creator like they were, or they're just often doing something right. completely different exactly. because of challenges. Right. They're not calling on the most high. They're not checking for him. Yeah. Um, and that does not mean that they won't come back. That's, so, that's but true. But the reason why they even gotten to the point where they don't want nothing to do with our creator is because challenges, real hardships hit them, like punched them in the gut, took they wind. Right. And now, you know what I mean? You see the result of that. So I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want that to happen to us. Exactly. And and two, you know, the hurt that people feel can make them abandon, Absolutely. you know, their faith. That's we are not, we're not justifying that, no, you no, know, no, no. Um, at it's all. It's reality, though. But that pain, it's like what you do with that, what you decide to do with that pain, or what right. you allow him to decide to do with that pain yeah. does not have to navigate you away from the creator because right honestly i mean i can think even in my life like you do things you know back in the day that you weren't supposed to do mm -hmm. there are consequences he can right. bring us back but then you have to face the consequences on top of him bringing us back which is amazing it's awesome but you know if that doesn't have to be a lifestyle then right. Yeah. Then don't don't make it a, a lifestyle, you know? Yeah. Save yourself, you know. We all go through hurt and we all go through pain yeah. in some kind of form. Yeah. You you wanna you tend to wanna rebel yeah. sometimes when things happen that you can't explain. And I mean, and I and I've had things in my I mean you guys have heard me talk yeah. about it in my music with my brother's suicide mm -hmm. and just different things that have happened in my family where clearly 
there's all kind of reasons. We all have reasons why we can abandon the creator. Right. But my thing is that is your only lifeline. Think about that. That if you're out there swimming and you really can't swim that good in a huge ocean or something like that, think of the most high as your lifeline. That 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 raft that they throw out there that you can mm -hmm. crawl up on and make sure that you're still a breathing. Yeah. He is that. So you don't want to so abandon true. the only protection that I was you really ready have. to say really? protection. Go yeah. Ahead. Yeah. No, the the protection. I was just thinking that because it's like like you're saying, if you're out there in the water, I mean, right. he's the only one that can, you know, keep your life, yes. honestly. Yep. You know, and a lot of times people say, well, why would the creator do this and why would he do that? Mm -hmm. It's like... Um, uh, right, we don't have that answer. Nobody, we don't know, and it does take a level of faith, right? you know, to believe, you yeah. know, even when times are, are hard, you know, and yeah. so... We just want to encourage you guys to to choose that that option. Yeah, hang in there with them, you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know why we are, um, well, I do know. I do know why we're in the position to share this with you because like I mentioned earlier, we're living it. Yeah. And it's easier for us to come on here and speak from experience. Exactly. Um, <laughs> but it also comes from our, our love and compassion for people because mm -hmm. we do not want to see people turn away from the Most High. Not at this hour. It's right. dangerous out there, you guys. It's crazy out there. Yeah. I don't have to tell you something that you don't mm -hmm. already know. Just turn on the news, mm -hmm. right? I don't watch the news, and going, but we know what's going on. And, right, right. Mm -hmm. and even, I mean, it makes me think about the, the protection again. It's like to be out of his, well, when you've experienced his protection, to be out of his protection means anything could happen. Like yes. you just decide like, well, shoot, I'm about to just go. Okay, that that is understandable, but you don't know what's gonna happen to you. I mean, realistically, like right. you just don't know. So it's like, it be, we wanna, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say about the protection, you don't know what could happen. It, right. it could be that one time mm -hmm. where like, say you get hit by a storm and it rattles your faith and you're like, forget it, forget mm -hmm. it. And you just abandon the most high. It could be that one time mm -hmm. that something tragic happens to you. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not, I'm not, we're not putting this out to put like no. fear or anything, but reality is that you need the protection of the most high, you know? And so um, we want to be balanced in what we're saying here. Because exactly. we're all human and we do yeah. go through stuff. Exactly. Right? We go through challenges. We go through hardship. Yeah. Um, but what we are saying is that store up your praise. Yes. Ahead of time so when things hit you, it doesn't completely knock you off of your foundation. Because like my sis was just oh saying, is that when, if you do get knocked off your foundation and you say, well, forget forget the most high altogether, <laughs> well, now you're out there. It's, it's, it, you don't know what kind of protection you, you, you know, you're forfeiting. It's just, it's not all, it's, it's and then the consequences. So say yeah. you start rebelling and you're like, well, you know, the most high didn't do this for me he, and he didn't protect me from that or something happened or I got hit with health issues and now I'm mad. Okay, well you take that frustration mm -hmm. and you leave the most high, you're in a worse condition now. What you have to do is learn to be like a little child and run to him like your yeah. father. Cry to him like your father. Exactly. I don't understand. Exactly. Like, right? That's yeah. what a little kid would say. But, you yeah. know, I'm hurt. I don't understand. Yeah. They're going to run. Yeah. Yep. Not a prideful adult right. person who gets upset. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, as we're talking about storing up praise. Um, oh, hi, Derek. Oh, I just saw. Hey. <laughs> brother. Good to see you. Yeah. To everybody who's on here. All right. Um, but to, to store that up, you know, daily, you yes. know, it doesn't have to be, you know, an hour or <laughs> the point is you're doing something daily to, to keep your faith or to ask the most high, even if you've lost it yeah. to get it back. Like right. there's two, two sides to it. So another thing I was going to say is you, you don't want to do it alone. I know exactly. we, we hear a lot of people, I know I have, especially, you know, in the truth or whatnot, where people say, I feel alone. I don't really have anybody to talk to. 
Um, sometimes it's hard to trust people, you know, because you, you don't know who has your best interest. You don't know who to confide in. I get it. I understand that. Um, but there are, I will say this, that if you pray to the Most High and you ask him to give you somebody Right. Even if it's through here, even yeah, if it's exactly. just my sister and I, or it could be somebody else uh, that you feel that you trust or whatnot mm -hmm. that will is willing to talk to you, is willing to pray with you, is willing to continue to encourage you through word or song or praise or music or whatever. Exactly. Um, there are people out there, so don't feel alone as well. And the last thing I want to say on that on that specifically is take a look around because there could be people in your life already that you may not think would understand, yeah. right? But they would understand if you just opened up a little bit. We have to learn how to humble ourselves too yeah. and say, hey man, I'm going through something. Because what the Most High doesn't want you to do is to abandon your faith, mm -hmm. not in this hour. And to, you know, be in a state where you're so closed up right. that that's a trick, you yeah. know, that, that really, is a trick it's understandable but it's mm -hmm. it's a trick because then you won't be able to to share what you need to share with somebody right so you'll try to dress he, it up yeah but he he will he will lead and guide and we can't sit here and say oh we know he's gonna lead in God in an hour no it, it but that's a that's go ahead that's another thing um <laughs> go I ahead get excited no, no 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 go ahead. no but that's another thing too um is the waiting Mm -hmm. um, sometimes we have to to wait for the Most High to come through. We have to wait yes. when we're in our tragedies, and we have to wait, you know, when we're in a, a really, really hard place. And we've gone through that personally. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, but it does. It. I know you've heard this before, but it's it. It's true. It does strengthen your it, character. It does. It shows you really what is in you. Exactly. The waiting shows you, not the most high Yah. He knows. He already knows. Right. It. But it shows you mm -hmm. what you still, in love, have to continue to work on. Like patience. You know, mm -hmm. I'm still working on patience. Still working on patience. What else am I still working on? I'm still working on complete, total forgiveness yeah. in some areas. Right? Some people have hurt. You know, I'm sure you guys can relate where you get hurt so bad that yes. even six months later, exactly, if you bring up the conversation, it's still, you still, it still feel hurts. that wound. Yeah, because the wound, yeah, exactly. right? You yeah. may have gotten stitches, but that wound, mm -hmm. it's like an internal wound that you still, and it's not that, oh, well, you haven't forgiven and something is wrong with you. It's just that if you have a deep wound, hello, it, it, it takes, it, go ahead. Oh, yeah. well, it takes time. It does. It takes time to heal. Because I can, you know, also think of, well, I just closed myself off because the trust <laughs> wasn't there because you different things happen in your life and it's like, wow. Right. But I know, personally, the most high, he can come in and change different things if we just allow yeah. him to. Sometimes it doesn't happen overnight. Some right. things actually he will come through very quickly. And then other times, you know, we just have to wait. So he, cause he loves us all the same and we all have different right. experiences, he, but he knows what we, <laughs> he knows what we need he individually. Does. And the waiting process, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's okay. Because, and the reason I'm saying it is because not everybody's going to understand the waiting process in terms of, you know, while you're being healed. Um, they may say, what's going on? How come they're not talking? How come they're isolating themselves? It's not really that. It's just that you have to process the pain. Yeah. Right? And so, um, and I know now we're talking about pain and healing and wounds and things of that nature, but it really all comes down to what the topic is which is storing up the praise for when hurts, people wound you, mm -hmm. whether it's health circumstances, I mean, family incidents. Family, we're gonna get, we're gonna have things thrown at us, you guys. Yeah. And we wanna be strong. Yeah. Um, and yes. Oh, I'm sorry, go oh, ahead. Oh, no, the, the only thing I was gonna say is the strength comes, and I'll let you talk about okay. a couple of things that we can do to strengthen ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll, we can just go back, back and, forth, and forth, you guys. One. And I know you've heard it before, but it is so true, and I'm gonna say it again. Pray. Yeah. 
praise. Mm, mm, mm. Singing praise to the most high, it strengthens your, your bones. There's actually a, a scripture mm. in Proverbs that talks about it's he, healing. Well, we have it Pleasant in our songs. Yeah, there's that one. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the being and healing to the bones, but praise also uh, gives joy to the heart, like a mm -hmm. merry heart. Do it so, good like medicine. Yes, exactly. yes, 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 yes. That one too. Yeah. Like medicine when you pray. So not only are you healing yourself, mm -hmm. you're also, you know, lifting up that praise to the most high. But in addition to healing yourself, what else is it doing? It's fighting off any dark forces. <laughs> Exactly. That you cannot see. That's like, ooh, she just got hit, so I'm going to yeah. come on in and make her feel even bad. I'm going to make him feel even worse. Exactly. Well, guess what? You start to praise them demons right. is running. They They're ain't sticking gone. around. They're gone. And that's a, which brings us to another point, which is um, <clears throat> minimizing our complaints. You know, because when you minimize. <laughs> hey, my brother. Oh. That's yeah. Jonathan. Oh, okay, cool. Good to see you. Go ahead, mm -hmm. Sissy. Minimizing complaints and speaking the pleasant words, like yes. even when you don't feel like it, mm -hmm. they are like a honeycomb sweet to the being and healing to the bones. Yes, they are. Like it can, we can literally, unfortunately, bring sickness on by the different words that we're speaking in our situations. Uh, so yeah. the most high. <laughs> it's true. Oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just he wants us to praise and so yeah. the opposite of complaining is praising. That's right. And he can teach us. Yeah. You know, just daily if we uh, if we become like we were saying like, like just a like a child. little child yeah. and just humble. Yeah. He for him. Yeah. He loves us in that state. Mm -hmm. He loves us in that state. All mm -hmm. all too much we think we know everything. Exactly. You know what I mean? We get a little knowledge and we think we know something and we don't know anything. Mm -hmm. We're out here, you know, in his universe, mm -hmm. right? You know, and all we really have, it's not the things that we have that make us who we are. It's, it's his spirit living within us. It's mm -hmm. his gifts and talents and his personality that he put in each one of us and that's why we have to treat each other better as well because oh, really we're treating where we're looking at the most high mm -hmm. in us when we're dealing with each other so we really mm -hmm. uh, should be treating each other a lot better but that's neither here nor there um, the point is we want you to be encouraged like never before mm -hmm. especially during this time because I know a lot of we just talked to somebody at the store uh, he lost his mother oh, five gosh. years ago today and he just felt like I mean that happens often to both of us actually where people will just open up to us mm -hmm. and they'll just start talking and sometimes like my sister was telling mm -hmm. me earlier sometimes people just want you to listen exactly some yeah yeah I mean that's a form of you know showing love like we're saying you know yes. as hard as it is you know show love and kindness to someone sometimes you might be going through so much you can't necessarily bring it out of your personality but even if you're listening to somebody yeah it's taking it's it's gonna take your mind off of your situation that's doing right. something mm -hmm. even when you don't feel like it for somebody else that's true you know can take your mind off the situation so which produces joy yes it does um inside of you you know that we all need so right yeah we just love y'all yeah we wanted these we're we're like my sister and i like we're very rare individuals mm -hmm. in the fact that we still really care about humans exactly about humanity and right. we're in such a world where it's like about me like like yo me 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 i i i i like you know my stuff and and it's just so like self-centered yeah and the most high is like i want you to work together exactly i'm a together uh, creator. I like mm -hmm. things. I like people to the family. He likes the family to be together. He likes, you know, good, uh, you know, friendships and mm -hmm. business relationships. He likes unity, yeah, right? And um, and even if we can't get unity with all of our people, right? Right. You know what I'm saying we may never see that here on this life, in this life or whatever. But if you can encourage people along to to just keep their heads up another day, you know, then hey, I'm and we we. We ain't we ain't too busy to come no. on here to love on y'all exactly. and to share and to minister and to uh, be transparent and authentic. Yeah. He's given us so much. Right. I don't care about no 
all the issues or the yeah. problems or the challenges. Yeah, I, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, he in our lives, he he also keeps us very humble <laughs> too. He <laughs> yes, he has he a way of. Um, he does. You know, if you have any kind of calling on your life, he wants us to remain humble because, like we were saying earlier, the gifts and the talents and the abilities belong to him. Yes. So He's um, dope. He keep, right. He keeps us humble yeah, he does. so that we can help you guys and that he can continue helping us, you know? Yeah. So nope. we, um, we don't want to take grateful. his credit. Uh, I said we don't want to take his credit. Right, right. He doesn't want us to be like, oh, well, hold on. Well, I'm not worthy, you know. He don't want us yeah. doing all that. I think you guys know that. Right. Um, but at the same time, he does, he can work in a vessel that's humble yeah. in a major way. Yeah. And I just praise the most high that he's working through us and that he's going to be working through some of the people that, we even are ministering to on Instagram, and we right. pray that we're bringing you um, hope. Yes. You know, because you got so a lot to be planting, hopeful for. We're just planting a little seed. Yep. Okay. Well, so we love you guys. Me. Real talk. Let's know. see. Um, I have no idea. Oh, you have no idea how this message was right on time, and also got me right back on track right. it's been a rough three weeks Woo, bless your heart yeah well you know what p2 o m 2018 we just speak life life over you life over you life over you mm -hmm. life over you life over you healing healing yeah Peace. shalom yep shalom shalom in the mind Shalom in the mind. I know exactly. one thing I've been recommending to people is to go to YouTube mm. and cut on some of those like water videos Shh, or, water the, or, fire. Yeah, or the crackling fire videos. Mm -hmm. I've been telling people that because it's worked wonders. Oh my goodness. Go to sleep to some of that and then your subconscious. It's like yeah. the, the most high's nature is literally like healing the inner parts of your mind. Exactly. And in, mm. when, in that state, just ask the most high not ask the most high, but remembering to, to give, we have to remember, we, I say we, because all of us have to remember to give our problems over to the most high, because there's only so much we can do. Yeah, we're not supposed to carry all of that. Exactly. And that's another, that's, that's another, yeah, oh, that's a, well, I'm just going to say that's a, a good point, mm -hmm. giving our problems all, to the most high, um, but also reaching out to each other. Exactly. I can't, I can't express, I could some of the things like my sister and I, yeah. we've leaned on one another. We also have parents and stuff like that, blessed with parents that'll pray for us and things exactly. of that nature, but we can't do it alone. Mm -mm. We're, we're not doing this alone, no, right? No, exactly. So it's important for us to tr start to trust one another a little bit more again mm -hmm. so that we can talk. And it's not to be a burden to each other mm -hmm. where you just dumping all your problems on one another. It's just so that we can get some good prayer going exactly. on. So we can get some comfort going on. So we can say, hey, ha how many times have I been in a situation where somebody has told me, hey, it's going to be okay. And just hearing that exactly. has lifted up a load. It doesn't even have to be anything deep right. sometimes. Like it could just <laughs> be a small... <laughs> Oh, yeah. you are so welcome, Derek. Is that that's your boy, Derek? Yeah, that's yeah. our boy. That's our boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and I've heard a lot of great things about you too. Yeah, but um, yeah, just giving it over to him and yeah, just reaching out. You know, reaching out. Yeah. Um, so that's how we're. Uh, that's kind of what we wanted to share. Uh, store up your praise. Let us know when you get on the other side of the rainbow. Yes. <laughs> How many blessings start coming down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Because we, I mean, even in our, well, I'll just say in my. Talk word, about it. In my walk has not been easy because if you're called, you're going to get hit. Okay. That's just yeah. what it is. That's true. Okay. Um. But on the other side of the rainbow, mm, 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 mm. yes, yes, there are mm -hmm. so many blessings that are awaiting. Yeah, they are. They mm -hmm. are stored up. Yep. yep. As you store up your praise, yes. the blessings will be stored up as well. That's true. 
and you'll be strengthened and you'll be like dang okay when I get over to the other side like dang I needed that yeah it's gonna produce humility mm -hmm. um, strength you know and then you can use your experience do do what we're doing you know use your experience to encourage somebody else right to sharpen somebody else you know so yep don't give up don't give up don't give up don't 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 give up somebody said hallelujah yeah. yahuwah because sometimes you hallelujah. get sometimes you get to the you almost over to the rainbow you about right here mm -hmm. right and you could be right here where all the blessings are stored but so many of us and i've been there mm -hmm. where you give up right 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 mm -hmm. when and right before mm -hmm. you could have accessed everything that was being stored up for you that's why again our original um storing up the praise <laughs> our original yeah message was about storing up the praise mm -hmm. that's why it's crucial because just like you know weight um i use a lot of gym analogies because you know mm -hmm. that's what we trying to be right <laughs> <laughs> But, um, you know, when you're doing your weights or whatever, and it's like, oh, that last rep, oh, right. that's like you're halfway, you're almost there, and then, yep. oh, you give up, don't give up, don't give up, mm -mm. don't give up, don't give up, right? My whole life is about perseverance. Mm -hmm. My whole life is about pressing through, right? My whole life, that is, I have yeah. so many different stories, you guys. I want to share with you, too. I want to be more open and more transparent, because I know that y'all get to, you'll get the healing. Exactly. I know my sister also has stories Ooh, as well, child. but it's, <laughs> it's, I can tell you from experience that if you do not give up on the most high, mm -hmm. in due season, this in ain't my season. words, this is in the scripts, in yeah. due season, you will reap a harvest. Exactly. And the harvest is not always financially. Woo! Okay, because finances can only take you so far, mm -hmm. but protection can keep you alive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Wisdom can keep you out of harm's way. It's so many different benefits, right? Right. And the thing is, too, it's reminding me of a script, the, the one that says that the Most High is closest mm -hmm. to those who are of a broken yeah, and contrite yeah. spirit. Yeah, yeah. So even though it may not feel like it all the time, he's the closest. Mm -hmm to us at those points. Praise him. So that is another encouragement to just continue to hold on. Just remember yeah. that he is closest to us. Yes, maybe other people have been pushed away. You know, maybe you've had, you know, relationship problems or mm -hmm. marital problems or any kind of problem. <laughs> but no problems, right? right. But know that he's the closest. Yes he is. He is the closest to us um when we're uh broken. Yeah. You know, and so. if you haven't heard this, we're gonna get on out of here, mm -hmm. uh, y'all. And we hope this has been a blessing, I think it has. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, if you haven't heard this in a while, the most high loves you, the most high loves you, okay. Ain't got nothing to do with what you look like, how much money you have in your bank account, mm -hmm. you know, uh, what organization you belong to or exactly. don't, ain't got nothing to do with that. Right? It doesn't matter what people have even said about you. Mm. Well, like their opinions about you, how they've treated you. The Most High loves you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've heard that in a while, but I just, and, and even this video that will be uploaded on YouTube and Facebook and wherever mm -hmm. else the Most High wants it, right. we want you all to know on Instagram, Facebook, and wherever you are watching mm -hmm. on social media, that the Most High, the Creator, mm -hmm the creator of your soul, the maker right. of your soul, he loves you. Mm -hmm. More than anybody else. So if you put your trust in anybody else for that love, just know it can't top <laughs> how much the it's Most true. High actually loves and cares about you because yeah. he'll He'll never leave or forsake you. No, no, no. People it, will, oh, but yeah. he will never. Sometimes he has to do stuff to to um, strengthen us yeah. and also sometimes we do different things that cause him to try to bring us back too so sometimes yeah. it's us but he does his love is like never changing that's right so we uh, with that being said we love you guys mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll be on here again the next time uh, the most high gives us something to share with you guys so continue to store up your praise mm -hmm. all right love you guys mm -hmm.